Geek Advent Calendars. We just got a fake LOL Surprise Dolls one called Beautiful Baby and a fake Hello Kitty Advent Calendar. Yes, the counterfeit the Advent Calendars this is pretty exciting because I love me some drama. So as you can see, we have two Advent Calendars that are absolutely fake. The Hello Kitty one has 24 surprises, so basically an advent calendar is a mystery box full of surprises that lead up to a specific holiday. There are Halloween advent calendars, Christmas advent calendars, and so on and so forth. And the second advent calendar that we have is a fake LOL dolls advent calendar called Beautiful Baby. This one also has 24 surprises, but don't be fooled. Just because these are fake, it doesn't mean they were cheap. They run about $30 each one, which is more or less around the same price as most advent calendars. So my question is, is this actually better than some of the originals or is it really going to be absolute poop? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think these are going to be treats or are they going to be worth your cash? I personally think I have more hope on the Hello Kitty one and I just, I don't have any hope on this whatsoever. I do like the backing though. It does look pretty cool on the back, but I'm worried all the babies will not come with accessories. Although they do seem pretty clothed here. So if they do come with accessories, that's going to be phenomenal. So yeah, let's get into it because we have like... 48 surprises to go through. By the way, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will turn you into a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. We love to do reviews and we like to make sure that you save your money. Okay, I got you, I got you. By the way, my newest craft kit is now available. If you ever wanted to make your own custom figure in an acrylic pour style, we have you covered. Ever since I did that project with my sister, I was extremely obsessed with wanting to make more of these. And so that's why we have the Figure It Out box. Figure it out. Figure it out. With this kit, you can make your very own custom bear or any other creature with the air dry clay that comes inside. And yes, this kit does include everything you need, including six mini bears that you can use as charms or keychains, close to a liter of paint with eight different colors, and a total of over 14 items in the box. If you want the full detailed video, I will link it down below, but also something else amazing in there. With every box, you're going to be getting a pack of mystery stickers that we put together with bear puns for this kit. There are 10 stickers to collect, in which one of them is holographic, and if you're one of the lucky three to get a golden card, you'll get the chance to be one of the VIPs in live streams, and you get to choose one of the vlogs that I can make on my vlog channel if you want me to craft something different, or if you want me to review a local restaurant, or anything of that sort, of course. But I have to say I'm really excited about this kit, and I can't wait to see what you all make. Of course, with every box, you will be getting tutorials of how to use the items in there. Again, the link will be in the description box below. Thank you, Green, so much for supporting me throughout all the projects. Back to the regular program. Now since I have the least amount of hope on this one, let's go ahead and start with that and then the Hello Kitty will be right after. And let's take a closer look at the back of the box. I really do love this design. I don't know if it's going to be a pain in the butt to actually unbox, but it is clean, it is clear. Each one has its own graphic. And I'm genuinely curious to know whether or not the characters come with accessories. And as with every advent calendar, again, if you want to see a whole playlist of advent calendar reviews, I will link them down below. Let me know what the day of birth is yours. Again, I don't want years or months, just the number of the day. I am the 21. And what item we got on the inside and if it's good or if you hate it. So I'll let you know what we get on the 21st for me and if I like it or not. So as always, let's go ahead and start in the order that this is meant to be open. So let's go with number one. And on number one, we do have a character with kind of rolled up hair. Is this the character we're going to get? What? Hello? Did they pack this upside down? <laughs> what? Hello? Oh no. Oh no. I think this was packed the other way around. <gasps> They're facing the other way. Well, at least it started. <laughs> it started as it should be, which is everything is upside down. Okay, let me let me try and turn it around without actually looking. All right, so I flipped the entire box the other way around and just kind of shoved it in. And here is our first character. And clearly this is supposed to be an LOL doll, but it is just, it is just terrible. They don't have any kind of the mechanics. It is a solid figurine, so you can't squeeze the character and get the water thing going on. There was no actual accessories. And the paint job here is an absolute nightmare. What the heck? This is, this is real garbage so far. But who knows, let's just keep going on with number two. As much as I like the design, these are not cutting properly. Oh no. <laughs> what is going on? 
one! Here the character has some sort of weird open mouth lipstick. The mascara is a little off. The hairstyle is okay. And it is permanently sitting down. So you cannot pose these characters. My goodness. This is making me happy for other reasons. Not because it's good. It's making me happy because it's as terrible as I expected it to be. And I am glad I predicted that. Let's see our third derpy one. And it is... Oh goodness. I love the fact that this one looks like it has a beak. It really does. Oh my, oh no. What is that? Is that supposed to be hair? We have all these scratched up paint marks. Here's a close up. The paint job is absolutely atrocious. I have to give them bonus points for actually doing a metallic blue on top. But yeah, it, it looks like it has a beak. It's a beak bird kind of character. But oh my, what, what is that? Is that a hole? Well, oopsie doopsie. I'm getting too much joy out of this. Fourth one. You are also looking like you have a beak. Here's, oh goodness, and an indent right on the side of the head. These characters are not coming with any kind of accessories. My goodness, you look terrible. And the eyes, definitely scratched up on the inside of the eye over here. Day five. Oh, pink baby. What's their obsession with all, do they, are they all the same mold? No, okay, the hair is different. But here we have pink baby again with weird lipstick, mouth open and weird mascara. Here's what it looks like all the way around, but at least the paintwork is not too, too bad. You can see some extra color over here, some indents and splotches over here. They get a D for effort. Six. Oh, we are just, we are just going in circles here. I think we're starting to get into the same mold. Why are they looking worse and why does this character look like E.T.? Just tell me this character looks like E.T. because of the eyes and the mouth. That's the first thing I thought of. And if we look here, this is the exact same mold, including the hair, the pose, the mouth. The only difference is the coloring. And you can see again, the paint job is an absolute nightmare on the hair. It does not look like they put any effort whatsoever. And it's not sticky, but you can tell it kind of feels a little sticky a while ago. It smells like plastic, but it has a remnant stickiness to it. All right, let's power through these. Seven. Oh, dual hair color. This one's cute. Although the bow is kind of integrated in the hair, it doesn't have a separate color. We do have two different colors and an actual expression. Okay, this one's cute. I just wish the bow were a different color, but it's still power. Day eight is oh hello okay starting to look a little better and we have a puppy dog eye type look a little hair bun and the actual paint job is not too terrible on this character a little pacifier okay we're getting somewhere number nine Oh gosh, this box is falling apart. Number nine's facing, I was like, like, don't look at me. I'm terrible, I'm, I'm like the hunchback in Notre Dame. Don't look at me. It's actually kind of cute. Pink hair with, again, terrible paint job all over. The hair is not too bad. This time it's the eyes that took the punishment. Let's see what day 10 has. Oh, another parrot. Is it another parrot person? And the answer is yes, another parrot person. Let's zoom into that. Here's what the face looks like. I don't know how. This LOL doll looks like it has wrinkles. I feel like it has makeup on to hide the wrinkles, <laughs> but it just, it does not look like it's doing okay. Again, the mouth and the paint job is absolutely atrocious. Let's turn it around. Paint job is not as bad as some of the other ones, but yeah, they're definitely using the same mold. Eleven, will you be good to me? And the answer is, oh goodness. Oh, oh, you're little. Oh no. <laughs> what is, is that a growth? Oh yeah. Okay, we got, we got the plastic off the eye. Crisis averted, but it's definitely looking in different directions, which again, I'm not sure if they meant it. Part of the uh, bottoms are not closing all the way around, so this is terrible paintwork, but hey, it's metallic, right? Oh gosh, but at least the hair also has pretty good paintwork. By the end of this unboxing here, I'm going to put all the molds that look the same all together so you can see them all side by side. But for now, let's enjoy the individual mess. 12. Oh goodness, why are they all facing the other way? Another, oh wow, this one's dirty. Oh my goodness, this one definitely has been playing out in the field. And even the paintwork for the eye has been skewed to the left that this part here where the eye was supposed to be is kind of looking like eye bags. And then there's splotches of paint for the hair a little bit of everywhere. And let's take a look around. The hair's looking good though. It really is the front of everything that just looks like a mess. Hashtag relatable. 13. Upside down. 
another one of the winky faces and again the eye is slightly coming off the actual eye area and look at that this baby's got some biceps my goodness some musculature on this baby yeah, the paint, paint job's terrible. We don't even know what that is. Why is that just a dot on the mouth? I think it's supposed to look like this one, but it doesn't have a bow. Interesting. We do have a metallic gold as the bottoms, but okay. 14, this is your chance to impress me. And it is. Oh, red eyes. I said nothing. 15 and 16 are next to each other. Oh, that's a different hairstyle. Again, the paintwork looks like Oh my goodness, it really looks like she has bags under her eyes. Hairstyle's cute, not too many blemishes. Some yellow contaminants, but not too bad. 16. Upside down. <laughs> we have a vintage looking character. Here's what she looks like all the way around. By the way, I did forget to mention the characters on the outside are not the characters that we're getting on the inside. And they're not clothed, and there's no accessories. So they're basically kind of useless on their own. 17. We have, what in the shrimp is this? What's going on with the neck? What? This neck goes on for miles. Wow. Let me just check. Okay, it's not me. I thought it was, what's up with the neck? It reminds me of Little Nightmares character, the teacher, where the neck just keeps stretching over and over. If you do want to watch me do some gaming, make sure you do subscribe to my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gaming. I will link it down below. We have lots of fun. We do live streams, so come and hang out. But what the heck is this? The paint job is on the nose for the lips. The neck stretches forever and the hair is also just not wrapping around the actual hair mold. Wow, that is scary. 18, will you be nightmare fuel? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We have our, <laughs> we have our first character with an accessory, but again, a long neck. What's going on? We have a hole over here, the upside down cap, and the absolutely terrible paint job. Off to 19. Okay, this one is a normal, normal character neck, but definitely still has bags under its eyes. Doesn't look too much different. Some of the paintwork is absolutely atrocious. On to 20, and you are. Okay, this one's actually pretty cute. We have a side shave, medium hair. Not much to ruin with the paint job, just a little bit over here. And now for my day of birth number. This is all messed up. Hang on, there we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We have another messed up neck Jimbro type character. This is definitely a Chad. My, my character is a Chad, my day of birth. And definitely has some biceps going on with the neck. Oh my goodness, this is, this is nightmare fuel 100%. 22. This one looks pretty normal. Aside from the, well, normal, <laughs> normal for this kid. Aside from the terrible paint job, it is exactly what I expected after all this. 23. Oh, that would have been cool. We didn't even get any pets. But we keep getting these long-necked characters. I don't understand why are they all messed up like that. Again, looks like the other long-necked characters. And 24. There we go. By the way, if your birthday is after the 24, don't worry, just take two numbers, put them together. So let's say you're the 26, take the 24 and the two and just see though you get double. You get two twice the amount of stuff. Th th <laughs> stuff. Wow, English. <laughs> I wanted to say things and stuff and it turned out as stuff. But here's what 24 looks like. Actually not as messed up as the other ones. And here are all the LOL dolls that we got in this absolutely terrible advent calendar. And as you can see, I put them side by side next to each other as closely as they resembled in the molds, which aren't as similar as I thought they would be. But yeah, this is absolutely garbage. However, now it is time for the Hello Kitty advent calendar. Now this box did take quite a bit of damage on the way here. So hopefully the items on the inside are not completely ruin and I think it opens over here. Oh, look at that. I'm actually pretty surprised that we have the numbers over here, but for some reason it's opening up to down instead of sideways so that it can hold itself. And the illustrations are kind of cute, but I'm also a little confused because we have a couple of Sanrio characters and other characters I really don't recognize. Maybe it's just me, I don't know all the Sanrio characters. And the numbers are scattered a little bit of everywhere. And the compartments are uneven, unlike the previous one. $30 fake advent calendar. Well, it's actually fake Hello Kitty. It's an advent calendar, it's not a fake advent calendar. It's a fake Hello Kitty advent calendar. All right, so we do have the numbers over here and it looks like we have a little tab that we can push through, which is kind of cool. So let's start off with number one and I'm really hoping we're not getting wonky kitty cats. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, that is hard to open. Oh, what? It's wrapped. What the shrimp? Excuse me? Is that a Hello Kitty old school telephone? I did not expect that. Normally day one would have started with something a little extra, but we have a tiny telephone, okay? I seriously did not expect that. This is a funny looking phone. And it's not wonky. It actually looks like the character. Okay, this is an interesting start. Number two at the bottom. These are hard to open. What? What? A whole keychain? Okay, hang on. This is where it makes or breaks. What do you look like? You do look a little counterfeit, but not far off the mark. The only thing that is wrong with this is that the nose is just slightly higher and slightly bigger. Here's an example of the Hello Kitty phone, which looks exactly like the actual character. Nose is slightly lower and slightly smaller. That's not bad. And what do we get here? My goodness, my goodness. It says Hello Kitty. This is a whole strap keychain with a clasp, a charm, and a character. No way. So we have a princess Hello Kitty. Honestly, this is not bad. This is actually not bad. Number three over here. There's stuff in quite a bit. So let's see if we're cheaping out anytime soon. What? Hang on. We have two things in here. We have another charm that you can put on your bag or your backpack. A lot of these characters are white. So let's go ahead and get my trusty felt over here. And look at that. Again, same thing. The eyes are a little closer to each other. I feel like the whiskers are going too high up. But here is school time. Hello Kitty. And these are not cheap plastics. They actually feel like pretty decent quality. And the other thing we got over here, I don't know if that was a mistake. If there's an empty compartment somewhere, this is gonna be it. And you are a cute little dango, adorable. So we have a dango charm. We can't really do much with it. I think it's more of a decoration than anything. And for those of you who don't know dango, here's a little B-roll for you. It's basically a Japanese rice type dessert on a stick. And they are probably one of my favorites. And I really do like the sweet soy sauce type. But yeah, this is in there. Number four is down here. And that one seems to be a longer one. I do have to say the unboxing experience is a little hard on the hands. Come on. And what do we have here? Another small item. This one's just weird. We've gone from like, oh, this is amazing to what the heck is this? And you are, what are you? You are supposed to be a cherry, but I think they messed up on the green paintwork and it's kind of trickling onto Hello Kitty's face. Yeah, that's unfortunate because that would have been cute despite the fact that it is pretty tiny. Day five on the bear. Oh, another small item. What the shrimp? Anything else here? What the heck? This started off so well. And now we just have a tiny couch. Do we have a tiny Hello Kitty to go on this? I will check the bottom of the box in case things fell down, but we just, we have a couch. I would love a tiny Polly Pocket kind of Hello Kitty. That would be absolutely phenomenal. A little bit bigger compartment here. Ow. And, oh, an actual charm again. Oh, that's cute. There are some mess ups on the side of the whisker, but the idea of the charm is really cute. You can tell from far, if it's dangling off your backpack and it's just moving like this, you'll have a hard time knowing that this is counterfeit. But the fact that it is looking from closer here, you can tell something is off. And the fact that the shirt doesn't wrap all the way around. The details on the moon are cute. You can see that it's not properly finished. Some of the plastic is still kind of sticking out. Again, still pretty cute on the moon over here and we have a missing toe bean on the foot but not too not too shabby the t-shirt the shirt is sending me right now it's just it's a half shirt not even it's it's a half shirt hello kitty wants to feel the breeze of the moon and space on her back but again yeah we're getting the tiny details that's what makes it is that we have a purple clasp over here i don't know i'm conflicted right now this is not the greatest thing ever but because my expectations were here i didn't think i would like this day seven so hard to open. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pliers and just start ripping more access. And a ring. And it looks like we have a bow as a ring. And it is an adjustable size. But make no mistake, tis not for sizes like me. I do have sausage fingers though. We could stretch. We could stretch it, but no, that is stabby stabby. We do not want stabby stabby on the finger. So it's very plain. Off we go to eight. Another character. This one actually looks good. This one looks pretty decent. So other than the fact that the face is just a tiny bit off and some of the paintwork is a little shoddy and some of the plastic can be cleaned up a little better. This again, from far, if it's on your bag or your backpack, does not look too bad. And here we have a metallic silver clasp. We're getting more figurines than I thought we would. Nine is pretty close to eight. 
Is that another character? Yes, it is. And this one is Wintertime Hello Kitty. And it's not dirty. Actual vinyl figure looks good. And it looks pretty legit. I would have to say this is probably the best one we've seen so far. Okay, I'm mildly impressed here. And number 10, where do you be? Oh my goodness, number 10 is this big one. All right, let's see what's in this. Oh gosh. There you go. What's in this big compartment? Oh, oh. And it is, what is that? That is a pink themed Hello Kitty. So everything from the eyes, nose, everything is pink. We have a gold clasp, a gold chain. Again, it says Hello Kitty. I'm guessing it's supposed to represent the Sakura season or the cherry blossom season. Again, this is a full charm with everything on it. And it's actually looking pretty good. And let's compare it to the other charm. I think it's exactly the same thing. Yes. So for the princess Hello Kitty, the charm, the clasps, everything, the gold color is exactly the same, just different characters and different themes. Back into smaller compartments with 11, another figurine, okay? And it's not like we're getting shoddy or weird type of figurines like we did with the LOL ones. These are legit pretty cute. So here we have made type Hello Kitty and the clasp matches. It matches the purple. This legit looks like Hello Kitty unless my eyes have just gotten used to it. And this is what she looks like now. <laughs> Very cute. The paintwork is actually not bad at all. And it's a good heavy feel to it. Where is 12? Okay, 12 is over here. And it's a very slim long one. That's what he said. <laughs> and oh, what, what the shrimp? You are a tiny fan. So we have a small fan that says Hello Kitty. The nose has not been colored in. You can tell this is fake Hello Kitty just because of something like this. But if you would have given me the charm and I didn't look at Hello Kitty's face for a few months and I would know that this is actually not too bad. I would, I would maybe even think it's real. But if you give me something like this, I would know 100% this is fake. Unlicensed is the word I should say. <laughs> 13B up here. And you are, what is that? What, what, what? Oh, Cherry, we see you again, but this is not, this is not Hello Kitty. This is a cat, this is Chonky Baby, but it's not Hello Kitty. Definitely quite a Chonky Kitty. We have a strawberry, we have a star, and this is a hair clip. My god, oh. So nothing. I don't know how I dropped that, but here you go. This is this is probably really sharp. I should not. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. It is definitely sharp, but at least the clasp doesn't clasp on too hard. But you have a cat themed hair clip. 14 over here. And we have another ring, a lilac rose. I don't necessarily associate Hello Kitty with roses, but okay. 15, where is 15? Let's back it up a bit. Let's bring it a little forward. Okay, there it is. You know what? We're just gonna start breaking the box at this point. Another figurine. And this one is a beach time Hello Kitty. Even has a little floaty. Here is the bathing suit. Again, not too much wrong with this one, except for just a little bit of paintwork in the back of the character over here. Even the little floaty looks pretty good. Hello Kitty looks pretty good. Even waving, get a little pause. But otherwise looking pretty good. We have a silver clasp over here. You can see this is pretty flexible. 16. And it is another figurine. Okay, come here. And this one looks 100%, I don't know what it is, but 100% absolutely unlicensed. I don't know what it is, but she's looking 100% wonky. I'm guessing this is summertime and buttons sticking out of her in funny ways. Popsicle kind of floating in her hand. I don't know, there's something extra wonky about this Hello Kitty and I, I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, this one just, just screams dollar store Hello Kitty. And the clasp here does not match with anything. Thing. I mean, there's nothing purple on this Hello Kitty, but definitely probably one of the most suspicious looking ones. Going into 17, which is also a pretty long one. And this one is, oh, what? That is tiny. Now I can tell this wants to be Hello Kitty and no, this is not my camera being blurry. The actual face is printed blurry. <laughs> it is cute though, but absolutely fake. Unlicensed, definitely unlicensed. But yeah, here it is. It is so blurry to look at that face. 18 is tiny. 
Oh, an actual full character. Okay, come out of here. And it looks like we have nighttime. I was about to say nighttime Barbie. I think Hello Kitty is like Barbie. She can do anything. She can go anywhere. She can be anyone. And here it looks like we have a pillow. That is a nice texture. The pillow is nice ridges. We have the robe. We have the night mask. We have the night gown. And it goes all the way around. Again, we have another purple clasp. Doesn't go with anything purple around here. But the character herself looks pretty legit. 19. Oh goodness. Come on. Oh, these are so, oh no, not another ring. You know what, we've seen the rings. We have a flower over here, which is meh. Again, the paintwork on this one's not the greatest. 20 is down here. Just go ahead and rip. What is that? It looked kind of like a donut to me and the answer is a Hello Kitty type donut. But the blush is quite extra over here. And this is what it looks like all the way around. These are just tiny accessories. And for those of you who are curious on the size comparatively to the Hello Kitty, it is quite a sizable donut. Not impossible to go through and eat if it's delicious though. <laughs> and now for my day of birth, the 21, we have, really? Really? The thing that I hate the most in this set? Give me a wonky Hello Kitty. Don't give me a ring. <laughs> No, not only is it a ring, but it's glitter. And y'all know I hate glitter things when they're not properly glued. Let's see if it's gonna come out on my finger. Rub that stuff. Okay, it hasn't come out. It is quite iridescent. So at least, at least the glitter's not coming off, which is good. And it's a star, sure. It's actually the cuter of the rings. It has a face. It's got a face, it's cute. 22. At this point, the box is just ruined. Let's just pull it. Uh, what? What? We have a Sanrio Hello Kitty luggage. It's made with the same material that the phone is made with, so it's really nothing special. Obviously, you can't open this or do anything with it. And no, the wheels do not work. 23 down here. I'm just gonna start ripping. Tiny thing. And we have just a random ring. At this point, they just stopped trying. There's even hair glazed in to the character. Like this is even hair on top. This this is hair glazed in. They, they spray painted the gloss with hair stuck inside. They, they didn't care at this point. They're like, we have you hooked. You are now mine. And then 24. Oh, it's empty. I think 24 was something we got somewhere else. But let's let's rip everything up and see if anything else fell anywhere else. And the answer is no. So 24 was one of the extra items we got. Probably moved a little bit of everywhere. And here is all the figurines and items that we got in the unlicensed Hello Kitty. <laughs> I have to say, if I had to choose between the unlicensed LOLs or the Hello Kitty, I would 100% go for the Hello Kitty. And technically this was $20 plus $10 shipping. So depending on where you are, this could actually be worth it if you're looking for a Hello Kitty non-expensive item because Hello Kitty items do be expensive. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you do want to watch more advent calendars, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I was Zoo Grins in the next video.